Hello all and welcome back to Broadside. This is going to be a bit of a different video from what I've been producing lately um, because we're jumping back into Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for the Layers of Romulus. Just to finish that off, hadn't done that yet, so we'll be jumping into one today and we'll do another video to finish them off. Did you see that light night? Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Find your way to the mass. And we have to do so in less than eight minutes. Is that going to happen? Unlikely. Not a huge fan of the optional things. Because I just think there's so many cool set dressings that are usually unique to these quests. So instead, let's just enjoy the atmosphere. And uh, if we get there in eight minutes, we get there in eight minutes. Now, if you are unfamiliar, we did s most of the other layers of Romulus in our playthrough of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Ite misa est Deo gratis. And we left two off, so here we are. We have to locate the Cardinal, which would be easy if there weren't about 30 of them out there, so. And we're off into the flock of Cardinals. <gasps> there they are. I mean, there he is. <laughs> Singular. Tail of the Cardinal. No problem. Cardinals typically have tails, so I doubt he'll notice. Did you hear? The Baron de Valois is dead. No. Now Bartolomeo D'Arviano is sure to rise up against the Pope. Cesare's campaign will be in trouble. Is that such a bad thing? Perhaps not. Thank you, Notification, for being that loud. Anyway, love listening in on the tea by the Cardinals. They're just giving us an update that we already know, probably perpetrated, so no big deal there. But cool set dressing, of course. Oh, he's going into a secret back room with a gate. That's that's never a good thing. It's gonna make tracking him a little bit more challenging. I will write the sermons, then leave them for you within the shrine. Make sure you deliver them convincingly, with passion. The followers will do anything we tell them to, Padron. They believe their God commands them. <laughs> Bene. Do you have the key? Yes, Padron. May the Lord be with you. <laughs> and also with you, Padron. Welp. We unravel a little bit more of the story here when it comes to the uh, followers of Romulus. Assassino! You will not get me! Oh lord, why do they always have to run? Oh lord, uh, didn't even think about that. My ascension takes me closer to God and away from you, Assassino! Yes, yes, very clever, Cardinal. But your flying will come to an end soon. All birds have to rest at some point. And you'll be wholly disappointed, meh? Am I on it today? <laughs> Ooh, very cinematic. Nice. Oh, and with the creepy music, too. Oh! Okay, gotta be careful. Clearly. Dude, who are these freaking very loyal workers who are in the middle of a thunderstorm? Yes, yes. We'll go around. Not a problem. Here we go. Now it's just a simple case. You know, he's very agile. He certainly didn't look like uh, he was this agile before. But hey, I guess um, being hunted down by an assassin motivates people. It 
It seems God is on my side, Assassino. Wow, this guy is very cocky for someone who is actively being hunted by likely the deadliest man in history. At very least, the deadliest man in Rome at the moment. But hey, you know, you gotta give him credit for confidence, I suppose. Oh, and here's another worker. Very loyal. Good job, dude. Good on you. Break something, be easier. Oh, and then he calls us an idiot. Harsh. What do you want, Assassino? Did the followers of Romulus work for the Pope's game? Of course. They are ignorant. We are enlightened. Their savagery will lead the people. I'm not sure you thought out your plan there, buddy. That doesn't make sense. Don't speak! Okay, can you please stop destroying all of the scaffolding? It's not gonna work and it's hazardous for my friend, the worker. You have nowhere to run. What a fool! You wage war against the very instrument that prevents the people from overthrowing order. Your order. It's no order at all. Oh wow. He wants a 1v1. Dang, man, a good start. Alright, let's let's handle him. Whoa, that was easier than I thought it would be. All right. All right, search the followers lair, no problem. Can do. First, obviously, we need to get our coffee beans. <laughs> uh, they're going to need a little bit of work in this room, not going to lie. Oh, we can steal from him, too. 16 florins. They're not paying this guy enough. Oh, wow. What a jump. Oh, no, we're running out of time. Yeah, yeah, failed, full sync, not a problem. Wow. You know, say what you want about the uh, followers of Romulus, but they are definitely uh, well-funded and um, seemingly well-organized, despite their leadership being completely corrupt and terrible human beings. So, there we go. I think I will leave this episode here, and then the next one, we will finish the Romulus uh, series, I guess, if you can call two videos a series. Decoded Romulus letter, here we go. For immediate distribution, His Holiness the Pope and the illustrious Captain General Cesare request that you amend the sermon text given to you thus far to include the message from Romulus that the assassins must be attacked, as you have done so effectively before by sending Roma's terrified citizens to our doorstep. Now you must do so to rid the city of the assassins. The usual amount of floorings will be deposited at the bank for you and the other head priests to pick up. Go with God, Cardinal Francesco de Borgia. Well, we know the Borgia are... Well, pretty much dead by now in the game, but yeah, they were working against us. Okay, return to Rome. No problem. We'll do readings and I'll probably make a compilation video. Uh, I feel like the scrolls and the armor deserve a little bit more than just this, but I only have time for this now. So, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe for more content.